Hi, I'm Annie Fitzsimmons. I'm your Washington Realtors Legal Hotline lawyer. And this is another episode in our series entitled Operation Evolve. And in this episode, I want to talk to you about our revised agency law pamphlet. And this is kind of a fun topic because this is a tool that's being brought to you by the revised law that it it should be a game changer for you and for your consumers. If you're familiar with the agency law pamphlet from prior to 2024, all that the agency law pamphlet prior to 2024 was, was a recitation of the agency law itself. So if you were good at reading the law and understanding it, then the agency law pamphlet was awesome. But most consumers are not. In fact, most industry members are not which meant that the agency law pamphlet really was not a useful tool at all. It was nothing that that a consumer couldn't have gotten just by going following links online to the RCWs and reading Washington law. So with the revised agency law of 2024, our industry also gets a revised agency law pamphlet. And yay, it's a useful tool. The agency law pamphlet now is written in lay terms. It's not a recitation of the law at all. Instead, it moves definition by definition and subject matter through subject matter to explain to a consumer concepts and practices that they are going to experience as a consumer on the buyer side or the seller side in the real estate industry. What is the difference, for example, between exclusive and non-exclusive when it comes to an agency relationship? Brokers, you might think you know the difference in exclusive and non-exclusive. I challenge you to get the revised agency law pamphlet and test your own knowledge. I'm not going to tell you the difference. I encourage you to go get it and read it. It might surprise you. What is the role of a limited dual agent? Can a limited dual agent advocate for the seller and the buyer? Is that their job to advocate for both parties? Or is it true that a limited dual agent can't advocate for either the buyer or the seller? Which is it? You'll find out from the agency law pamphlet, the revised agency law pamphlet. Who do you represent up until the time that you've signed? a brokerage services agreement with a client. You're talking to a consumer in the real estate industry and you haven't yet entered an agency agreement with them. The law tells you who between buyer and seller you represent, even though you haven't yet signed an agency agreement with them. Who is that? Who do you represent? Do you represent the buyer or the seller? And what if you are in an agency relationship with the seller And along comes a buyer who wants to purchase your listing and they want you to write the offer for them. And they want you to be their dual agent or you want to be their dual agent. So you just start writing their offer. Are you their dual agent? The agency law pamphlet will tell you. It is an easy to understand, plainly written, uh, the concepts are well explained for a lay person to read and understand. Brokers, I encourage you to immerse yourself in that agency pamphlet, learn it. It is your industry. And then I encourage you when you're meeting with a consumer and you've never had an agency relationship with them before, walk with them through the agency law pamphlet to make sure that they understand this relationship that you are about to begin with them. It is written easily enough that you could probably hand it to most consumers and they could read it, but we all know that most of them won't take the time. But the concepts are important and important not only for the consumer to understand, but for the consumer to understand how their relationship with you works, how it is that you're going to be paid. Why is it important for them to have a brokerage services agreement with you? This is explained in the agency law pamphlet. So use it as a tool to facilitate your conversation, your education of the consumer. If you have questions on anything we've talked about in this episode or anything else, 
please ask me a question by visiting warealtor.org. Thank you for being a Washington Realtors member.